Welcome back, sports fans. More signing day coverage across Central Georgia. Let go. We start off Houston County's Arthur Brown. The fourth is taking his talents to D1 Charleston Southern. The senior celebrated his birthday today by announcing he will play DB at the next level in the Palmetto State. Brown helped lead the Bears to a 10-3 finish with a quarterfinals appearance under head coach Jeremy Edwards first season at Hoco. In P-E-R-R-Y, woo! Cameron Marshall will remain a Panther signing with Georgia State. Teammate Caleb Wilson signed on to be a cadet with the Air Force Academy in Colorado. Travion Wright is a University of Memphis bound. And his teammate Amar Gordon Jr., the quarterback, will suit up at University of Tennessee Martin. First 48, Jabari Moore. He is on his way to Gordon State in Barnesville. He'll be joined by Deontay Kendrick because he will also be a Highlander in the fall. And then there's third time's a charm. They'll be adding Martez Rosser to the trio heading to GSC. Now both Jamari Stone and Alamar Hennett will remain teammates at St. Norbert College in Wisconsin. Ahmad Lee will join Central Georgia Tech's club football program along with head coach Terry Kendrick. And the veterans Warhawks boast two signees, starting with All-State All-Region program record-breaking receiver in Damari Franklin. The speedy wideout is all about the swack, heading to Alcorn State to suit up for the purple and gold Braves. And Jerron Benjamin knows all about the weight room and how to execute that strength on the football field. The All-Region linebacker is headed to North Georgia Mountains of Reinhardt University. And on the north side, north side Eagles are soaring high this signing day. Another last class addition of former head coach Chad Alligood. Defensive lineman Isaiah Harvey looking to clash helmets with Mercer in the Southern Conference. Harvey is Chattanooga bound to play for the Mox. Quentin Lewis had more than 20 offers, including several Ivy League schools. The big lineman is claiming Yale University. His big ugly teammate Kyle Mixon will play ball in SEC East at Kentucky. Looking forward to Mixon ma matching it up against the dogs in the future. Outside linebacker Mikkel Roberts, hungry like a wolf, heading to the University of West Georgia in Carrollton. Offensive lineman RJ Bellflower will continue to work on his pass and run block techniques with the Reinhardt Eagles. Teammate Brandon Wilson will be close by, lining up as a tight end as well to North Georgia University. Alongside Bellflower, hard-hitting Tyler Williams will continue to roam the gridiron defensively as a linebacker at Union College. Running back Duke McClinton signed his NLI with Peru State in Nebraska to run the pigskin for the Bobcats. And defensive lineman DJ Hardy will continue his playing days with Gordon State's club football team just up the road in Barnesville. Well, of course, it's also signing day for the Mercer Bears as well. A talented group coming in, and Connor Hines has been hanging out with the Orange and Black as they celebrate in downtown Macon. Connor, what's the vibe like down there? WCW. Yeah, Marv, you got that right. We're hanging out at Fall Line Brewing Company celebrating Mercer football's 2023 signing class, and we are now joined by the man behind it all, head coach Drew Cronin. Coach, you told me this is your, your fourth signing class, but maybe let's call it let's call it third because yeah. of the pandemic and all that. Either way, you got 17 guys coming in. What what excites you most about this group? Well, I mean, it's just a first of all, just to get to the end of this kind right. of it, recruiting is a year long process. It'll start again Monday on next year's class, right? And you spend a lot of time. Your staff spends a lot of time just trying to find the right fit. Yeah. You know, the right piece. You have certain needs you have, but it's about finding kids who are good enough talent-wise physically to play at Mercer, but also the right kids for our program. Sure. You know, we've spent the last three years building a culture that I believe in, I'm really excited about, and you want to bring kids in who enhance those things, and kids you feel like are going to develop, they're going to be outstanding academic kids, because obviously Mercer is, is a high academic school. Um, but uh, the more success we have, uh, the, the better these signing classes get. You know, we, we've got a winning football program now. Um, it's a great looking signing class. Uh, I'm really excited about the work our staff put in, and there's so many people that uh, that help you do this. Right, I mean, right. it, we always say it takes it takes a whole university to win in football, and it's the same thing recruiting because you got to be able to attract the right people and win some recruiting battles. And uh, I feel like this is a real nice signing class coming in. No doubt. I know you got to run, but real quick, you call it you call Mercer Central Georgia's mm -hmm. football team. That's what you guys want to be. Yeah. You guys got quite a few Georgia boys. You got Braden Smith coming in yep. from Tattnall, Tattnall. Yep. Julian Fox coming in from Crisp Chris County, yep. some more Georgia boys as well. Uh, how much of an emphasis was that for you guys? Well, it's always going to be a huge emphasis in state. I mean, one of the reasons I was excited about 
getting the head job at Mercer was this is my home state and it's a great high school football state, one of the best in the country, if not the best. So we're certainly going to, to be in every corner of this state. Uh, I think it was six total guys from Georgia, you know, but then again, we were in, you know, every state in the southeast, you know, we, and we really spread out. I think it was three from Alabama, three yeah. from North Carolina, two from South Carolina, two from Florida, yeah. one from Tennessee. So, um, you know, it was, it was really neat. And then, you know, Scooter Rispers, a kid joined yeah, us. It's also a, a Macon kid here, went to Westside Macon and is transferring in from, uh, from West Georgia. So. Uh, it, the Georgia kids are great, you know, but we're going to be all in the southeast as well. Well, we're excited to see what's in the store. He's Drew. I'm Connor. We'll go back to you in studio. Go Bears.